such a workout. Well, guys, I am the official owner of a twin turbo 300 ZX. What is going on right now? <laughs> The amount that I paid for this 300ZX that makes it the cheapest twin turbo in the nation was... One thing I really had to learn when coming from an NA to a twin turbo is when you're done driving, you wanna let the oil just kind of uh, get out of the turbos, if that makes any sense to you. Now every time I go somewhere, I gotta leave like five minutes before I usually normally leave because I gotta turn on the car, let it warm up, and also I gotta, when I stop driving, I gotta let the car cool down and then, yeah, so it's, it's great. I love it, I love it. And we are back to yet another unders, undisclosed, undisclosed, I can't speak today. Welcome back to the vlog. We're back to another undisclosed location. This video, one that I really owe you guys because this is something pretty cool. As you read in the title, it is not clickbait at all. Sounds like directly in front of me, so I'm gonna be like this the whole time. So yeah, I wanna tell you guys a story of how I ended up buying the cheapest twin turbo 300 ZX on the nation. Anyways, there's a pretty laid back video. Grab popcorn, grab some drink, preferably a protein shake, and enjoy. I love this car. I know I said that every video I film with it, but I really do. So it is obvious that I one, love doing YouTube, and two, love and have a huge passion for building cars so as you guys know or if you're new to the channel i also be, t be besides this i have a, I have a 2009 uh nissan 370z it looks beautiful beautiful car um that's kind of like a newer car so i really want an older project one it's gonna make insane content two i just really want to build something from the bottom up and three i kind of wanted to switch it up not just 370 z z z z which, which still is z but i love z so if you're new to the channel and you love z's subscribe to start the story off like from the very beginning as a joke i actually started looking at 300s on facebook marketplace car guru auto trader craigslist everywhere but it was just as a joke you know just uh once one day i'm gonna own one blah 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 and then i actually took this picture about i would say a month away a month off from me buying this car and i had no idea i was buying it i took this picture same color same year crazy how the universe works like it really is so i kept on looking for a good like i would say two weeks i really wanted it it went from jokingly to i kind of really wanted to this is a really good investment for my future for anything because i would much rather spend this is another thing i would much rather spend x amount of money that i'm gonna say soon on this car rather than my 370z that's already kind of built and i mean i rather it just makes more sense spending money on a car than on car parts for a car does that make any sense then i'm the kind of person that when i want something i start making every single ex every single argument is for me getting it like there's no wrong in me getting this car like everything makes sense i need to get it now so i started looking but every single 300 zx that i looked for was between six to like fifteen thousand dollars because i wanted the twin turbo and that's I can't do that at all. I really can't. I'm not trying to go into a financial crisis at the age of 20. I just don't want to do that. Again, I kept looking and I started going back to Facebook Marketplace because I only used that once and then my friend was like, oh, you should look on there. So I'm like, you know what? Let me, let me look on there. So I kept on looking. I First, I found one that was a twin turbo swap. It wasn't running and it was two grand. So and I, I was so desperate. I messaged the guy. I was like, yo, what's wrong with it? He, he, he didn't even know why it ran, so I somehow convinced myself not to keep talking to him. Hello? So then, after that one that had no engine, I found 
this one and the price is gonna shock you when I first saw it on the Facebook marketplace I started messaging everybody like the, is this normal it's is that okay I was super confused and the whole process was so sketchy like so sketchy but anyways I'm gonna now tell you why this car and yeah it was the cheapest twin turbo 300zx in the nation the amount that i paid for this 300zx that makes it the cheapest twin turbo in the nation was three thousand six hundred dollars that this is the cheapest like can you imagine three thousand six hundred for like it didn't make sense to me i i don't get it three thousand six hundred three thousand six hundred three thousand six hundred still this is what I wanted I wanted a car that I could build for the channel that it was cheap and literally my dream car like it, it made so much sense like I was very sketched out but at the same time I'm like you're coming home baby and I did research before making this video and I was like I wonder if there's any 300 cheaper than this car there isn't still there isn't the cheapest one i'm gonna put a clips i think the cheapest one i found was five thousand dollars and that was an auto trader nationwide two-door turbo five thousand dollars the cheapest one and then i went on car guru it was also like five thousand dollars two-door twin turbo like what i got extremely lucky and i am i am truly blessed that i got the cheapest 300 in the nation like i am just mind blown to be honest Yes, a lot of repairs had to be made. I'm not even gonna say anything. Um, if you wanna check out every single video we've made on this car, there's a whole playlist on the channel. Go ahead and check it out, boys. Check out the build, support it, cause I love this car, and when it's done, it's gonna look freaking mint. Definitely a Mustang. I filmed from when I first went to go see it, to when I first actually bought it, to the first time breaking it, it breaking down like everything is filmed on this channel it's super cool i love that about this car if you think the sketchiness didn't end there you're very wrong when i first went to get it the car hadn't been registered in four years <laughs> like what had a weird uh license plate from georgia and maintenance had never been done coolant reservoir was a gatorade bottle that's pretty famous here on the channel i appreciate you both remember that um uh, rust all over the body not bad rust though that's why i got my i'm not stupid guys i'm not stupid i'm not gonna buy something that's completely ruined but the reason why i bought it and the one thing that it has it's good turbos and an extremely good engine with very good compression i don't know why i switched spots but on march 31st 2018 Lizzie became part of the family and she's gonna be here. She's gonna be here for maybe a long time, maybe a short amount of time. I don't. What else? And when I got this car, it was so surreal. I couldn't believe it. I'm looking at it right now on the camera and I still can't believe that this car is mine. Like, it's truly amazing. And now, on more of a serious note, I really want you guys to know this. I mean, I'm not, not trying to get sympathy or any anything like that, but. This car was, it's, main, it's mainly for content for you boys, for me to learn and us grow together, we learn more about cars together and just have fun as a awesome family that we are. So thank you so much. Like things like this would have never been possible just because of, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but <laughs> thank you guys. Like honestly, I say it a lot, but thank you so much for supporting the channel and just Pushing me to do things like this for you boys and for us because building cars is what we love doing here She barely has any paint on her. She's looking good from this angle. You got the light coming down. Let's go I feel like we're so close that I really just had to tell you guys like this is something that I've been thinking about telling you for like the longest time and yes when I'm done with a full build I'm gonna put I'm gonna add up. I'm gonna say how much it cost me I'm gonna say how much I spent on mods, how much I spent on restoration. It's gonna be really cool. I'm look, really looking forward to this video, but for now, we gotta worry about actually building her. Palm trees, got the nice sunset in the back. You know, although I hate Florida sometimes, I'm gonna give it to you, I'm gonna give it to you today. I'm gonna give it to you. All right, there's nowhere to put the camera. I'm gonna end, I'm gonna end off today's video. Thank you boys so much for watching. Now you know the truth. 
how much I really paid for it. Insane that it was the cheapest one in the nation. Like, just think about that. That's crazy. And that was part of the channel. So yeah, we're gonna continue building and having fun with it. Regular schedule programming. Peace out, boys. Thanks for watching. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. Peace. My mom literally just called me to show me this. You guys see that line right there? From an airplane that shoots smoke from the back? She was worried about that. Scared.